What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock the Watch channel. Guys, today we're going to do a full review of my Casio G Shock. Let's rock this watch. Alright guys, so here it is, the Casio DW5600E G-Shock, the G-Shock Square, the standard, I think this is the cheapest G-Shock you can buy for around $45 to $50 on Amazon, and boy is it worth it. There have been so many people that have said, one watch collection, this is it. If you're not a watch guy, if you are a watch guy, most watch guys I know, most watch YouTubers have one or more of these in their collection because they are just that cool. Value for money watch, everybody's talking about value for money. This watch is best value for money. This watch is best value for money. In my opinion, Casio probably makes the best value for money watches in the world. And this one is probably top of the list. This sucker, this is, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's just an awesome watch. So let's get into some of the features and then we'll talk about how great this watch is. So case diameter is 43 millimeters. If you move, if you measure across here, 45, if you measure, measure diagonally, it's 13 millimeters thick. And that's the top of these little guard things up here. Lug to lug is 48 millimeters. The lug width is 15, and that's because you have to measure in here. It's 15 millimeters. It has a, as you can see, quartz. It is a quartz digital movement, or, or you know, and this is, uh, the power reserve is as long as the battery lasts. So, you it has, let's see here, it says in the back. Casio, what's the case back say? Casio DW5600E, stainless steel back, made in Thailand, water resistant, 20 bar, which is 200 meters. It has 200 meter water resistance. Guys, you can do anything with this watch. Anything. This is the ultimate sports watch, okay? This thing is just you can get so many bands and you can mod them and have negative displays and you can get, you know, metal kits from AliExpress that give you a metal bracelet and a metal case that goes around it. So it looks cool. You can get titanium ones. You can get metal ones that are like $1,200. You can get camouflage ones. You can get NASA ones. You can get, now they got the Tron one that's coming out or it came out that's in metal. They call it the Tron because it's got this grid pattern on it. It looks very cool. These are just super cool and you can beat these up. And if this sucker, if you could keep this sucker and it lasts you, let's say you really beat it up and last you four or five years, you throw it away and you buy another one. And for 45 bucks, this is probably, I say it again, the best watch you can buy. Now, some of the things here, it's got, let's see some of the features. As you can see, it's date Sunday. June 7th at 11 p.m. Let's hit that. There's an alarm. You set the alarm. I uh, don't know what that is. I don't, that stops. Maybe it's a stop watch. Oh, there, oh there's the, the stop time back to here. And then there's a little light. Let's see, let's turn out these lights right here and see what, how it looks. Ooh, 
Oh, went completely dark. Here we go. Oh, there, there you go. It's 11. Oh, oh, that's not very long, but definitely very clear. So And then up here, I don't know what the heck that does. So that's start, stop. It says light on, off, light, mode, adjust. Now, when you initially set it, that's this one is very reset in there. So you're not bumping it around and stuff like that. Guys, I really don't have anything too negative to say about this. Maybe the resin is a little bit cheap, but it feels great. It's a comfortable watch. It's just really awesome uh, look at the amount of videos that are out there about this they speak the truth this thing is is great one of the only things that I can complain about with this watch is for me I have fat fingers so when I try to hit the light like I really have that's one of the things I noticed and with it on the wrist we'll get it get on the wrist in a minute matter of fact let's do it right now but oh wait what am I rocking today today I'm rocking the seagull 1963 did an unboxing and full review of this watch i'll put both those links down below in the description so let's get it on the wrist set this down right here So yeah, there it is, guys. And I have about a seven and a half inch wrist and it looks great. It's got that whole kind of integrated bracelet thing like a AP or, you know, a Patek or something like that. I know it's not, I know it's not to that level, but I'm just saying the style and kind of looks kind of looks cool like that. So two things I had, two small issues I had with this watch uh, for me personally. One, I wish it's it's a little on the this one I have to pick it's a little loose if I go to the next hole there it's way too tight and this one it's just a little bit loose I mean, I could deal with it but I wish it was just halfway in between there but that's that's my fat wrist that's not you know you can't adjust it perfectly for everybody but I live with it like this it's just a little bit just a tad bit loose and also pressing this sucker I would have to get if I don't take my nail and press it in there sometimes I'll press and I'll press and I'll be like god not to dig in there there you go I hit it so the light for me if it popped out just a little bit farther that would be very cool uh like the Casio world time I have um you just hit the buttons they they protrude out all the way around and boom it's just a lot easier so yeah there it is guys very cool go out pick you one up I'll put a link to where you can buy it in Amazon below to help you out and uh, enjoy, man. You will not regret owning a G-Shock and especially a G-Shock Square because they're not these big bulky monster things like some of the other ones. These are very, very cool. So yeah, there it is, guys. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.